Sadly, many of us are still in lockdown and this has led to a sharp drop off in the number of properties for sale, even in places where lockdown is not occurring. This pause in seller activity isn't being matched by a drop off in buyer activity. Like we've seen around the world throughout the pandemic, COVID continues to be a house price accelerator, pushing up prices far more than they would have done without the pandemic. This month in Ray White Now, we take a look around the world to see what is happening with house prices. Like Australia, we are seeing very similar conditions around the world. COVID has led to a big increase in house prices. More people moving to regional areas, out of suburban areas doing well, and a more negative impact on rental levels. With interest rates remaining low for the foreseeable future, we are starting to see regulators step in in many countries, something which may occur in Australia in the near term. From global to local, we also take a look at regional areas. Since the start of the pandemic, we have seen record movement of people out of our capital cities and into regional Australia. Four main shifts have occurred which have led to this population movement. This has led to price increases in places from Sunshine Beach on the Sunshine Coast to Meriden in Western Australia's wheat belt. With Canberra about to hit a $1 million median, the second city after Sydney, we also take a look at what $1 million buys you around the world. From looking at apartments in Paris and New York to holiday destinations such as Thailand and Bali, it certainly is highly variable what you can get for your money. And finally, for those of you that own commercial property or looking to buy a commercial property, we take a look at how to get a tenant and also how to keep that tenant. For the full report, head over to raywhite.com and download the Ray White Now report.